Hey everybody, um, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Um, just wanted to cover a couple things before we get into the video. Number one being, thank you so much for 10,000 subs. That is so freaking cool and I'm extremely freaking grateful. And I am just overwhelmed with passion in my blood, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. And the, th the second thing I want to cover is, um, I got a new microphone. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like new mic so hopefully you guys can hear me better um you know y'all can hear me from like 10,000 miles away now you know it's just crispy clear quality and the third thing i want to cover is um i will no longer or i will not be making as much pixlr content anymore for three reasons one that being that metabang which is the platform i'll be telling you guys about today is just 10 times better number two Pixlr is not good for designing like advanced things. I understand if you're a beginner, it might be, you know, really good because that is where I learned how to design. But for advanced things and me growing as a designer and you growing as a designer, it's time to step up to bigger and better things. And Pixlr is just not it, all right? So with that being said, I will try my best to do Pixlr videos. They'll probably be extremely rare. But from now on, we are moving on together as a community. Get the hell out of Pixlr. We are moving on to Meta Bing. And I understand it might look really intimidating. I was intimidated for sure. I was like, what the hell is this shit? And then I actually tried using it and it is bomb. B-O-M-B. -B, bomb. All right. So, with that being said, let's get on with the video, and you guys are going to have a freaking blast. I promise designing will be 10 times more fun than it is now, and I can promise you that. So, let's get on with the motherfucking video. Baby girl, you know what I want. Let me do it to you, do it to you. Let me do you like, ah, 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 ah. So you guys should already have the program downloaded if you don't i will leave a link in the description you guys can download it for both windows and mac so welcome windows users to my channel it's usually always mac users but yeah um so to be honest myself i've been only using metabing for like the last maybe two weeks so i'm not like too good at it and i'm not too advanced on it i am still a noob but um, what you should definitely be doing is be making a cloud user, which is basically where you save your um, you save your projects on there. You know, just make like a username and you could save things. If you don't make a user, you won't be able to save shit, which is like really annoying. But yeah, whenever you download it, this should pop up. And from here, I just click open file and I'm just going to go and open my template. So my thing is called IC template. <laughs> I know so unique love it and I just open it like this and like I said guys if you don't know how to use a template and stuff I have my beginners video for this but this will just be a beginners video on how to use metabank not a beginners designing guide like that's totally different it's just I'm showing you how to use this program but I'm not going to teach you guys how to you know design you know what I mean this is just how to use metabank and from here this should open up and on the side we have all the tools so just like you would in pixlr we have to have multiple layers to make clothes so to open a new layer it's right here this button right here and there you go you have layer two um to change blending modes this is where everything is the opacity is right here um brush control types of brushes right here and then you have the erase tool, then you have the move tool, then you have the fill tool, the lasso and the select tool, then you have the text, and then you have the eyedropper tool. Then we have all these amazing tools, I'm going to show you guys how to use real quick. So from here, um, I think when you first open your metabank, you might have some more panels and stuff, but um, these are the only ones I use. I use color, brush control, brushes, navigator, and layer. Anything else you guys might have, I personally do not recommend it. So to zoom in and out, um, I changed my like shortcuts. So just go to shortcut settings, click it. And from there, you're going to click view and you're going to see zoom in and zoom out. So you can make your shortcut however you want it to be. I prefer Z and C. I'm just used to it. 
and after that you know you click and edit it and click OK and then you'll be able to zoom in and out. Now we're going to use the hand tool to basically move around the layer and the entire thing and you know move in and out like this just get used to the the, the shortcuts and then right here is where we're going to you know design and stuff. So I'm going to click this one and the one I use is pencil and I usually use around like like one point like around like 1.5 and make sure the correction is 40 that's what makes your outlines look extremely extremely detailed and on point so i'm going to show you guys what i mean zoom in with z or however shortcut you want it drag layer 2 under layer 1 like that and you also want layer 1 to be locked so it doesn't move in place and you're going to go back to the brush tool and i just love uh, i mean and then go on layer 2 and you're just going to start drawing so so I'm going to go ahead and change the color to black by taking this and just dragging it down like that. Zooming in and I'm just going to go ahead and make my tank top just like that. And just make make it halfway like. And this is how you undo. But by the way, if you don't like it, you just click this button right here to undo. Just like that. And you only have to make it halfway. I don't know if people know this, but you only have to make things halfway. And I'll show you guys how to revert, like flip it so it's symmetrical on both sides. But yeah, then you're just going to do the bottom. And if you want to do a straight line, you're going to go ahead and click. Guys, pay attention. Pops is really good. Click the crisscross snap right here. And all you have to do is drag like this. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and then to go back, you click this. Boom. And since I'm going to, you know, make it symmetrical, I'm just going to delete this half by using the select tool, selecting it and clicking delete on my keyboard and then click out of it to deselect. But yeah, we're just going to move my layer like this. And then look, I have half of my layer. This is how you flip it. So to flip, all you're going to do is duplicate this layer by clicking this right here. Duplicate it, drag, and then you're gonna do Command T on your keyboard, and then click Flip, and then click OK, and just drag it out to however you like it, and then boom! Oh my God, look at that! And they're gonna merge these two layers by clicking right here. Merge, done, and you just made yourself a beautiful outline. All right, y'all. And oops, I just accidentally moved it, but yeah, click the hand tool just to move around, and of course, let's continue this outline by doing literally the exact same shit that I just said to do, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so go to the brush tool, click this and just oh, click this, drag. Drag, drag like that. And of course, guys, don't forget about the top. That's it. And then go out like that. That's it, guys. You just made yourself a freaking tank top outline and you barely did any work. Now, how freaking cool is that? And of course, um, sometimes I kind of want, like, for example, let's say you want your tank top outline to be lower. I just go to the move and I drag it a little bit lower like this, like that, boom. And over here you can kind of see the imperfections. I just go to the erase tool, take the hand tool to zoom in and I change the brush to a little lower and like that. Just, just erase. So there you go. And for instance, let's say you want to change the color of something or you want to change the color of this tank top outline um, or, you know, do pretty much anything. This MetaBing has this amazing thing called clipping that Pixel doesn't. So let me show you guys what I mean. You're going to go ahead and click new layer and then you're going to click clipping like this. All right. Make sure it's checked off. And let's say I want the color. For example, let's go to like blue, like cyan, maybe. Or like, let's go to like, we'll do dark red like this. Go to the brush tool, make it like 
this really big and then just look at this just drag it and look at that that is so cool let's just go this way just like that you just change the color and of course make sure you have it everywhere just like make sure and there you go that's how you use the clipping tool and you can use the clipping tool for a lot more things uh let's just merge the layers real quick um let's say you want to shade um or let's say what is this how you fill it in you're gonna click you're just gonna make it a little lower color than the outline and you're just gonna drag it under and then just fill it in like this Don't worry about being messy. And then just you're going to go ahead and take the select tool and like this, delete, stretch it, delete, let's go a little more, delete. <laughs> So you can go a little deeper and then take the erase tool like this and someone just checks in me and so slide gently to erase the sides and of course guys I have my lines on correction 40 so it's super neat and precise and it doesn't look stupid which I really like And of course, if you made a mistake, just go back in your brushes and fix it like this. That's all. Let's even zoom in and go even like a little bit more precise, just like this. So I'm just going to show you guys how to shade real quick. You're just going to click new layer. Then you're going to go to the darker color of your background color. So around like this red would be good and go to i go to watercolor wet you just scroll down from the pencil go to watercolor wet and change it to about 27 and here and here i just click on clipping and then i just trace around the tank top like so this is a very basic way of shading i made a mistake guys i'm sorry probably gonna have to go like this Just like this, erase a little bit. And on the bottom, of course. Just like that. And then after you've done that, you're going to go ahead and go to filter, Gaussian blur, and lift it to like about like nine, I think is really good. Let's go to eight. Yeah, eight is good like that. And of course, you could lower the opacity if you want, just like that. And there you go. You have this awesomely shaded tank top. And I know you guys are like, how do we import pictures or how do we import P PNGs and stuff like that? Don't worry, I got you. So on MacBook, you're just going to go ahead and go on Finder. And uh, let's say, let's just click on this. For example, what you want, you have to go to the picture that you want to use. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and click copy right here. Go back on MetaBank and then do Command V, which is paste. Just like that. And... You're going to take this and it's going to be um, like obviously big. So to resize it, just do the, exact same thing we did. We do the exact same thing we did before. Go to Command T to resize it and just make it smaller like this. And boom, click OK and that's it. And the quality isn't even that ruined, you know what I mean? It still looks really good just like this. And that's it. That's all you have to do. 
And if you guys want to save this, you're just going to go ahead on file, click export. This is really, really important. And then you're going to make sure it's on PNG transparent like that. And you're going to click OK and then save as I'm going to do basic demo and click save. And that's it. It's saved. And if you want to save it to the cloud, let's say you're not finished with it and, you know, you want to open it later, you're going to go ahead and click save to cloud like this and then title uh, basic demo. I'm just going to write that and that's it. And now you could find it in your cloud just like that. So just in case you want to, you know, go back in the future and, you know, work on it, you can and all your layers will be saved. So that is all for the basics. Around here don't matter. All that I know is that I want to dance with you. Moving close, have a boy gon' kiss you. Know that you know me. Don't